Good morning, Pio Pico Palomas, and happy Monday. I'm Dr. Lupe Gomez, principal at Pio Pico, and with me this morning we have... Good morning, families. My name is Karina Valencia, the face liaison for Pio Pico Elementary School. And we're so excited to be here with you this morning. Let's go ahead and get started, but we have to celebrate that... Um, Counting today, we have eight more days of instruction before summer officially begins. So we're super excited. Um, pack your bags, you know, get ready, hit the beach, um, and let's start enjoying summer. But eight more days, so we're going to finish strong. Um, but we do have some birthdays happening in May, so we want to make sure that we wish them a happy, happy birthday. So happy birthday, Damien, from Mrs. Segura's class. Happy birthday, Annabelle. Happy birthday, Guadalupe. And happy birthday, Ivan. We wish you nothing but the best. Everyone here at Bio Pico wants to make sure that you continue to bright. Um, you continue to bright as much as you can um, for this next school year. Um, and we're so happy for you guys. So happy birthday. Let's see. We have our Scholars of the Week. That's always a fun thing to do. And let's see, who do we have? Uh, for this week, we have Giselle Franco from Mrs. Prado's class. Um, Giselle is super organized and self-motivated. Giselle is very focus oriented and is always paying attention and enjoys participating in class discussions. Giselle is always ready to learn and give it all her best. Congratulations, Giselle. Yes, congratulations, Giselle. And from Mrs. Barragan's class, we have Camila Preciado. Camila has improved her reading fluency this trimester. Um, and believe me, with distance learning, it has not been easy. So we want to thank her and her family for all the great work that they're doing. And it's so great to see Camila because she always has a smile. She's attentive and she's ready to learn. So way to go, Camila. We also have Stacy Salgado from Mrs. Segura's Segu class. Stacy has shown great improvement in her school work. She's attending the learning lab and is making every effort to achieve her goals. She has also shown to be respectful and responsible. She logs in on time and has her materials ready to learn. Stacy enjoys learning and participating in class discussions, and she does a great job asking for clarification questions and helping her peers stay on task. Great job, Stacy. And for Mrs. Sorelli's class, we have Edney Nieto. Edney always demonstrates scholarly traits in everything that she does. Her hard work and perseverance have helped her have a successful year. She takes risks by actively participating in class discussions, and she's not afraid to voice her opinion. So you go, girl. And she makes a great effort to complete most of her synchronous and asynchronous work. So great work, Edney. Let's finish strong. And we also have Eduardo Martinez from Mrs. Villasenor's class. Eduardo participates by asking questions and offering well thought out responses during small groups, especially during math. Eduardo always tries his best, comes to class prepared, and always has a positive attitude. Eduardo hopes to become a police officer someday, and we know that his strong work ethic and determination will help him reach his goals. Yay, Eduardo. Congratulations to all our scholars this week. Uh, we also want to give you an update regarding data confirmation support. So we currently have 27% of parents who have completed a data confirmation on ARIES. We still have data confirmation for missing for 337 students. So if you have, haven't done so, please log on to your ARIES parent portal account to get the data confirmation complete. Uh, remember that the data confirmation helps students identify um, who will be um, returning for the 2021-2022 school year. So it is very critical that you complete this um, as soon as you can. Um, and the way to complete your data uh, registration is on ARIES, but if you do need support, one-on-one -on -one support, I'm still offering hours and appointments for this week on Tuesday and Friday. Um, so I have sent out a appointment form on parents where with uh, available appointment time. So please use that form and select the time available. And if you have any questions or you need help selecting an appointment or you can make those appointment times, just give me a call at my work cell phone number 657-253-0818.
So not only do parents have to do the parent confirmation, but there's also the commitment survey for the fall. So please know that we are committed to returning to in-person instruction in the fall. That means students will be at school five days a week during their regular school hours, right? Um, if families do not feel comfortable just yet, having students come um, um, in person, then you do have the option to an online school. Now, the online school will not be the same way that it was this year. Remember, this year we were working through a pandemic. Um, and so the online school will be just that, an online school. So students would be expected to be logged in for the whole school day. Um, and it would be five days a week. All the instruction will be online. Um, so you do have that choice. Um, but know that we are ready and we're committed to receiving our students. Um, all the preparations for our campus for a safe return are already in place. So we are sure that your children will be safe if they come back to us in, in the fall, or actually when they come back to us in the fall. Um, the parent commitment survey has gone out through Parent Square. We have distributed 487 surveys. And I wanna thank parents because you have responded in a strong way. We have 396 surveys that have this time have been completed. We're still missing 91. So if you are having a difficult time um, completing the form, please reach out to us because we're here to help out. The district has extended the due date to the last day to do your commitment survey will be this Friday. So let's make sure that we get 100% of our parents committing to either in-person instruction or online instruction. For our parents that have not completed the parent commitment survey, you have two ways of completing it. You can use your ParentSquare app on your mobile device to complete the form. We, you can scan the QR code that's on the flyer, as well as using the link that was sent to you via text message and email to get access to the survey. And uh, the date has changed, so you do still have time to complete the survey, and you have until Friday, May 28th to complete it. Um, you can also complete the survey via your computer or tablet device by logging on to parentsquare.com, and as well as just using the link that was shared with you or the QR code um, to access that survey. And as you know, um, SAUSD is still committing to providing the community with COVID-19 vaccines. And the FDA has already approved it for students that are 12 and up. So if you have a student that is in that age range, you they are now eligible to receive the vaccine. Um, so please note that the vaccines uh, clinics with the district are available every Monday. Um, at Sigurdstrom High School from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. And one thing I do want to uh, mention to the parents is if you do decide to do a walk-in appointment with your child, your child needs to be accompanied by an, a, par a parent or guardian. And to make the process a little bit more uh, efficient for our staff, um, please bring the student ID of the student or a ID or passport and their insurance card in order to process the paperwork before they receive their vaccine. And if you have any questions about these opportunities, please give me a call and I can give you more information if you like. So now let's move to something a little bit maybe more exciting, right? Although the vaccines are super exciting because we're getting all our community protected and safe. Um, but fifth grade promotion and TK and kinder virtual promotions will be taking place. So please mark your calendars. Fifth grade promotion will be on June 3rd, which is the last day of class at 8.15 in the morning. The teachers will be sending you out that link so that you'll be able to join and also additional information on things to keep in mind for that virtual ceremony. TK and kinder will also take place on Thursday, June 3rd, which will be the last day of class, but their promotion will start at 10 a.m. Our promotions will be virtual. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure you reach out to your child's teacher. But we're so excited that we're coming to an end of a school year. I wanted to share with you parents this weekly food resource guide. Um, this guide is created by our base department with the district. Uh, we do share these weekly and they provide you an idea of which organizations and local agencies are providing free food for our families. 
Um, so please look at the, so you can find these flyers on Parent Square. Um, I share with you parents uh, these flyers on the Friday newsletter. Um, so just go onto your app and you can access them under the photo section. So they'll give you an idea where you, if you need food, where you can go and get access to food. Um, so it does provide you a weekly and day by day um, guide as to where you can get food. And as you know, if you have any questions about this resource or any other resource in particular, just give us a call and we can give you more information. And something to note is that some of the food distributions are pretty local. So for example, on Thursday the 27th, the Boys and Girls Club right here on Highland Street from 4 to 5 p.m. will be distributing food. So some of them are pretty local. So just take a look and see which one fits your schedule. Um, and you'll be able to have um, additional food resources for your family. So the end of the school year is coming. So like I said at the beginning of the message, we have eight more days. But right after that, we have summer school. And so we're super excited about our summer school programs because it is the return of our students back on campus. So summer school will be in person and it will begin on Tuesday, June 8th. Um, and classes will start at 8 a.m. For those of you who have already registered for summer school or have been invited to attend summer school, over the weekend you should have received a video with information on summer programs and what to expect for summer school. So if you haven't, please go back to Parent Square, check out that video, um, and that's a way that you'll know um, that your child is already registered for summer schools if you receive that message. Um, our third grade teachers will be having a distribution this week um, on Thursday, May 27th at 2 p.m. So please make sure that if you have a child in third grade that you stop by the school um, for the end of year distribution from our third grade team. Um, Memorial Day um, will be Monday, May 31st, and we will not have classes that week. So this is our last full week of instruction. Next week, there is no class on Monday because it's Memorial Day. Students will be on campus, um, sorry, in school, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Thursday will be their last day, um, which will be June 3rd. So next week, kids are only in class three days. We end the school year, and then we have to transition very quickly um, to summer school because summer school will begin on Tuesday, June 8th. So please make a note of these dates. They're really important. Um, in addition, as we get prepared for the new school year that will be in person and to receive all of our students, um, we are going to have a back to school readiness week um, for 21-22. Now, more information on this week will go out as far as dates and times, um, but please reserve the week of July 26th through July 30th. This will be a time for parents to come in with their children to school. You will be able to exchange your Chromebook for a new Chromebook. We will um, tune up all the Chromebooks that students have. We will make sure that they're all updated and they're ready to go. So it's really important because we're not collecting Chromebooks at the end of the school year. Students will keep their Chromebooks for the rest of the summer. And then beginning on July 26, students will be expected to come back on campus, return the old Chromebooks so we can exchange it for a better, newer Chromebook. Okay. Parents will also have the opportunity at this time to sign up for Chromebook insurance. Um, and all that information will be there. We'll also help you out setting up your Aries account in Parent Square. We'll review who your child's teacher will be. We'll review safety protocols. So everybody will be required to go through this process the week of July 26th through July 30th. More information will be coming. But please make sure you save this date. Right? And these are for incoming um, students, right? new and old, but if you're in fifth grade this year and you'll be in sixth grade next school year, you will keep your Chromebook and then your junior high school will be able to issue you a new one as you return that one to them, right? So this is only for current TK through fourth grade students and any incoming students. This week is gonna be really, really important. Our staff is ready to help you um, and your family make sure that we are ready and prepared for, for a new school year. So we're excited about that. One important update is that our academic calendar for the next school year or for 2021-2022 has been approved. So we wanted to provide you these dates and um, kind of put them in your calendar and be aware that they're going to be coming up. So the first day of school 
for all of our students at Bio Pico will be Monday, August 16th, and classes will begin at 8 a.m. Uh, we also wanted to share information about Back to School Night. We'll be hosting our annual Back to School Night on Thursday, August 26th. Um, once we get closer to the date, we'll provide you a time. Um, the next day after Back to School Night uh, is going to be a modified day for all of our students on Friday, August 27th. And another uh, other important date is Labor Day is going to be taking place on Monday, September 6th, and there will be no classes held on Labor Day. And then the last day of classes for the 2021-2022 school year will be Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. So you got the first day and the last day for next school year, and then a couple of important dates that are coming up. We'll be able to provide you all the dates with all the important information as we get um, geared up for that um, for that new school year. Um, but parents, if you know anybody who has children on around the ages of four and five, and they're going to be registering for TK and Kinder, please let them know that Pio Pico is a Spanish dual language academy, um, and we have a few spots left. So please register today. Um, let your friends know. Um, they can call us at 714-972-7500, or they can email rocio at rocio.reyes at sausd.us for more information. And so I think that's it for this morning. Thank you for spending your morning with us. Um, let's have a great week. Thank you, families. Have a wonderful Monday and rest of your week. Take care.